Okay, so what we're gonna do is uh, just take a look first and you can see that there's no ptosis. Um, some disorders like OPMD, myasthenia, there can be ptosis. Now what I'm gonna do is uh, just put my hand into here. Now move over, look up, down. And we're moving in an H, up and down. Uh, you didn't see double through any of that, did you? No, not at all. No, so we didn't see any ophthalmoparesis, nor did you report any diplopia. Certainly things like uh, OPMD, um, we see ptosis, but not ophthalmoparesis. With um, uh, things like mitochondrial disease, there can be ophthalmoparesis, uh, or things like myasthenia gravis. Now we're gonna take a look at the eyes, and this doesn't need to be too onerous with the ophthalmoscope. Uh, first, what we do is just take a look at the pupillary response, so just look straight ahead and they're nice and symmetric, going from about four millimeters to two. And now we're going to take a look at the cataracts and fundi, and this can be done very quickly. First, when you look at cataracts, usually you put it on green seven on the scope. And if I can get you just to sit straight, and look straight ahead, I'm just gonna to touch your shoulder here, so it's right eye to right eye. Look off into the distance. And then usually if you go in and out with around green seven, if there's cataracts, you'll see them come into view, but we didn't see anything there, so there's no cataracts. We can see cataracts in certain things like mitochondrial disease. Uh, we can see this in different types of um, muscular dystrophy, such as myotonic dystrophy type one and type two. So I'm just gonna touch your shoulder, left eye to left eye, looking straight ahead, and in and back, no cataracts. And then to look at the fundi, put it on two and look straight ahead. And we can see the optic nerve and the back of the eye. No retinitis pigmentosa, everything looks good. Things like mitochondrial disease, uh, we can see optic atrophy and other things. If you don't feel comfortable doing this exam, that's fine. But if someone has visual symptoms, refer them to ophthalmology. Just look straight ahead. And the disc looks good and there's no retinitis pigmentosa. So we'll put that away. Any swallowing issues at all? No. None whatsoever. So if she did have swallowing issues, we would take a look at the throat. So just using your otoscope, open up your mouth. Big ah. Uh. And you can see that her palate moves symmetric. And just listening to the voice is part of the examination. Patients who have a weakness at the back of the throat, uh, such as OPMD or myasthenia, will often have a nasal voice. And uh, Aaron doesn't have any issues like that.